Good morning, Loganites. Today we are headed to Old Town, Florida. Woo! Yeah! We're here, we made it. The river is really pretty. Look how nice it looks. There he is. That is a giant cricket. A grasshopper. I mean, it looks cool, don't get me wrong. It's just I used to stay in those as a summer camp thing. Oh, it looks really cool, actually. Yeah. It's got four by three beds and a sitting area all mixed together. Oh, wow. A little mini fridge. Uh-uh, don't go in there. Close that door. Mm. Because we didn't rent this. We're just looking at it. Let's go to a spring-fed diving area. Peaches and watermelons. <laughs> oh, we're stopping, big boy. We're stopping. Oh, my gosh. What is this? You have, like, three rows of peaches stuff left. They must be good. Got a couple of watermelons. Got some right. peaches. Yeah, you got some peaches. I ain't got no cash. I left my purse. I left <gasps> you got some money? I got some money. You got enough money? They got enough money. We about to get some peaches. You better have Let me show you what we got here. Peaches. Watermelons. I want them to have some more stuff too. Wait, Levi, wait, go inquire. Get, get us some peaches. No okay. How much how much did you give him? Twenty. Don't go crazy. Yeah, get like... Go no, a little crazy. No more than like $10 in peaches. Yeah, no more than $10 in peaches, that's right. But he's too close to that lady. Yeah. Look how close our son is to that lady. Oh, it's like automatically zooming in. No, it shouldn't be. Well, it is. It's coming back without spending any money. Are they out? What's wrong? $15 for a box of peaches. $15 for a box of those peaches? I don't think that's worth it. She left too. Okay. All right. Well, she left Wow. Too. I don't think $15 worth it for a... $10 for that box of peaches. $10. I'll okay. give you $10. Go back and tell them your dad said he'll get you no, $10. No, yeah. we're not doing let that. It, let them start learning how to negotiate. Go back and say, dad said I can give you $10 for one of those things of peaches. Look at him. He's so determined. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's so determined. I'm gonna I have rain. anxiety. You're giving me anxiety. Look, there he's like, go. my dad said I can give you $10 for one of them box of peaches. That's what he's saying. Look, he's smiling. That old lady's like, uh. Oh, she went back. She went back. Oh, and she's trying to skip him. Listen, I taught my kid better than that. He'll he'll throat punch you. Look, Levi. Oh, no! What a little butthead. Oh, he's thinking. He's like, come on, man. Work with me. Come on, man. Oh, he may have said, he may have said, now hold, now hold on. Like, making sure that lady doesn't get the same feel. Yeah. Check it. Or he's giving him tood. I don't know. He could be giving him tood. Oh uh, no, is he doing it? Is he doing <gasps> Oh my gosh. This is why he can't listen to me, because I have no backbone when it comes to stuff like this. Logan's like, you give him ten dollars and you come back here with some peaches. <laughs> or you're not my son. <laughs> <laughs> it worked though. It worked. Look, he's he's successfully coming back with peaches oh, right now. He came back with he gave it to him for 14 I don't know. What happened? Did he give it to you for that or not? I don't Tell know. us what happened. I, said, I told you 10 bucks and you ain't got 10 bucks in your hand. No, I don't. What happened? What did you say? I said I want a box of pe My dad said $14 is too much. Will you give me a crate of peaches for $10? All right, let's just go. Hand me a peach. I'm about to go get my Please money Please don't back. do that. I'm going to get my money. I don't want to make a scene. Can Come I on. have a peach? Come on, let's go. They do look good. Hey, Levi, do you want your water shirt? He might get cold. You're just leaving this towel back here. Yeah. Well, that's Levi. And it's so we can, go, can go. Yeah, we can go all the way down to those berries. Oh, it looks like it's pretty deep there, baby. All right. I'm a, I want to be searching for stuff. Where are we at? Big hole, a big blue hole. <laughs> On this episode, a uh, big, big blue, blue hole. <laughs> Throw back to Yellowstone. They said it's 30 feet. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's 30 feet deep? Well, that makes sense. I got to the bottom of it, though. Yeah, so that makes sense. Yeah. I did get to the bottom of it. It was, it was, it was heck or high water. Heck or high water. High water, water but I got there. So I, I don't know if it's water or stuff crawling on me, but there's stuff happening over here. Look at all the minnows. They're literally just sitting everywhere. 
<laughs> Look at the car. Finally caught it on film. You know, this park's pretty darn cool. I What it is is basically they took a natural spring and then put these concrete barricades on the side, put some concrete barricades in the water, and then added some sand in there and just made it a really, really cool swimming hole. I like it a lot. I really do. Jennifer is not a big fan. She would prefer it if there are no humans in this water and you could just come sit and enjoy the prettiness. Uh, that's not me. I like to come and jump in the water and it's super cool as you can see that. There's a lot of cool stuff. There's these pavilions that you can rent out. There's the kids jumping off the little like jumping board and then you've got like the little splash pad for the little kids. It's awesome, man. It really is. And the water is a crisp like 60. It's cold. It's cold, but it's really nice on this hot, hot, humid day. All right, y'all want to show me y'all's best dives? I'm going to record it for everybody. Nobody want to do it? Nobody want to do it? Come on. You have the perfect setup. I'm coming, baby. Uh. I got it. Ballsy. <laughs> now I cannot make it a point to my wife. <laughs> yeah. And I got video proof. Yeah, you you swam seven feet across. Calm it down. Calm it down. You you understand. Yeah. She said no and I did it. Get it, girl. Get it, get it, get it, girl. Okay, I'll look at the mullet. Tell them what you think. You don't want to hear everything I got to say. Tell them. First of all, I look like a fisherman. Well, I know what you want to be fishing for. <laughs> Snacks. I have been eating a lot, about, about 50 million ants. Levi hasn't been in the water in like 15 minutes because he's just hanging off of the dock out there with the boys. Um, and I'm hungry, but hey, you know, you do things, Levi's living it up, so this is a cool part. Today's the day, the day you've been waiting for, manatee swimming. Look at what I'm wearing. Oh gosh. Yeah. Sea cows. And essentially you are going to lay flat on top of this new and then for, and then forgot she left it out on the counter overnight. <laughs> One, two, three, say cheese. No. All right. <laughs> what a day. Manatees was awesome. It was crazy. We actually swam on top of manatees. You got Holy cow! I got bumped by one. Levi got like snot on by one. It was great. Like it was you so. Chose. You did, didn't you? Freaking cool. Fun to dive in clear water, Florida. We are not in clear water. Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? We're in Crystal Springs. Florida. Crystal Springs, Florida. Don't That's let, the don't one. let Logan advertise for your business because I'll be like, it's in England. <laughs> Crystal Springs, Florida. That's where we are. Go. <laughs> hey, we, hey. All right. So the winter chores are apparently better because there's more manatees because the spring water is warmer than the air temp. However, it could be like 40 degrees outside, and the water would be clearer because you're going to be swimming in the springs. Where today we swam in the bay. Lakey Lake Lake. Yeah. So would you do the winter tour? Yeah. You would do the winter tour. We might come back for the winter tour eventually. They are called water potato cows. That is the definition of a manatee. Water potato cow. Huh. That eat grass and make lots of bubbles. What? Why are you always recording me? Can you tie? Let me tie a knot. I'll tie you a knot. Okay. Oops. I keep pressing the forward thing.
It'll look like original home fo uh, video, I'll tell you that. Fishy Magoo. What if you catch like a piranha out of there, Levi? Well, also, beware of anaconda. That's all I'm saying. If you see something that looks like a danger noodle, stay away from it. Wait, what? <sighs> Today's been a good day, Loganites. We got to swim with manatees. I got to watch Levi swim with manatees. Uh, what else did we do, baby? We had a good lunch. Oh, man. Best Cajun food we've had this entire trip we had in wherever we were. <laughs> Crystal okay. Springs. I, we can't hear Levi right now. He's not in the room. This lodge that we're staying in <laughs> sucks. Sorry. I slept on this futon. Oh, there he is. Uh, I slept on this futon. Uh, the AC, there's only one window AC unit. I'm just saying that it's rough out here for a player. It's rough. This is the stuff we go through to go on these trips. This is the stuff that you don't get to hear about. It's the bad sleeping arrangement. Jennifer started on this futon last night. Ended up getting the bed over there with Levi. Levi originally was supposed to be on this futon, but when we found out there wasn't an AC unit in there, I slept in here. Because this is the only AC unit in here. Where me and Jennifer started, she left. I said bye. Remember, Loganites. Always, always keep, keep your corn, corn on the cob. cob.